loss is unnecessary waste that is created from poor decisions such as taking more food than you can eat. According to the World Food Program, one third of food produced for human consumption is wasted globally. This amounts to about 1.3 billion tons per year, which is worth approximately 1 trillion US dollars. We know people waste food. On the other hand, some people don't have food to eat. I investigated how to reduce food loss and increase food production. Firstly, we interviewed Mr. Siraj Dash. We heard about a worldwide smart farming project. This is tailored towards developing countries to solve their food problems. I was impressed by how it adapted to culture, climate, and land use. We then went to a smart farm run by a local government in South Korea and learned about aquaponics that can be done at home. Aquaponics is the cooperation between plants and fish, and the term originates from two words aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaponics systems come in various sizes, from small door units to large commercial units. Isn't it nice to know fish and plants coexist? We heard from Mr. Sohan Kim, who is in charge of the welfare system under the Ministry of Health and Welfare of the Republic of Korea. South Korea has a voucher system that supports meals for children from low-income families. In addition to food, there is a system that prevents children from being able to buy tobacco, alcohol, etc. and protects children. Currently, all elementary and middle schools have free school lunches. But the problem here are the leftovers. It is important to reduce wasteful expenditure by only taking what you can eat and reduce food loss. What surprised me the most in my interview with Ms. Yoko Komiyama was that Japan has a large budget for the elderly who actively participate in the elections, but low budget for children because young people have little interest in elections. Therefore, the private sectors play an important role in supporting children from low-income families. For example, a free restaurant for children leaving property in partnership with a food bank. Watashi Kitchen, meaning My Kitchen in English, is run by Mrs. Yokohama and some private volunteers. This kitchen is not only open to poor children, but everybody because low-income families don't want to stand out from other wealthier families. All adults can eat here and pay 300 yen toward their meal, which will be used for food expenses for the next meal. It's a place where everyone can enjoy eating, a very nice place. What we focused on in this food loss was ugly food. Is it because the shape is distorted? Is it because the size is not uniform? Even though the taste and nutrition are the same, distorted foods are thrown away. We made and distributed ugly fruit jam and mixed it with still water or sparkling water. And we ran a campaign to show that it is equally nutritious and delicious. Ugly food is still delicious! Ugly fruits contains the same nutrition as the local fruits, but it's ugly. Between the regular and ugly products, people aren't willing to buy the ugly ones. So next time when you visit a store, don't be afraid of buying ugly fruits, because ugly fruits are still great fruits. My action against food loss is to eat proportionately here now. I will always be mindful when taking these foods by only scooping what I can eat. Something so simple often slips people's minds, which is why I recommend you to do the same. One day my friend Justin told me that he was too full and couldn't finish his food. So I told him how wasting food is bad and how people spend so much time and energy on making the food. 
So me and Justin agreed on trying to eat everything on the plate and not wasting food. Compost is organic material that can be added to soil that holds plant growth. Food scraps and yard waste together currently make up more than 30% of what we throw away and could be composted instead, like this. Making compost keep these materials out of landfills where they take up space and release methane and most importantly, reduces food waste. This is something everyone can do. We introduced to Commune Sense Food Bank and free restaurants for kids. So we're gonna fundraising to these kids. So we got rice, gummy bear, curry, and give money so they can buy fresh meat. Okay, let's put it into it. It's gummy bear, rice, curry, and last money. Try last order as a way to reduce food loss. Last order is a service that creates a food culture without waste through a clothing discount. I think it's a groundbreaking idea to reduce the aforementioned food loss. We collected the budget savings from the last order and donated it to the Climate Foundation. Action together!